Welcome to CAD 301, Construction Documents 1. This is the first of our two courses which focus on developing construction documents. For these two courses, we will be focusing on a residential project. When you look at the drawing, you can see that the project is much more significant than what we've done before. So we will be developing the floor plan. We will also be developing some multi-scale drawings and also working on a roof plan and an elevation for the project. In CAD 302, we will continue working with this same project. In CAD 101 and CAD 201, we provided you the templates and the title block information that we used for assembling our sheets. One of the important things we're also going to learn in this class is how to create a title block and all of the components that we need. So you can see, looking at this image, that we have our sheet, which is a 22 by 34 sheet, and the drawing is developed so that we can have one viewport that looks from the layout paper space down into the model space environment. When we develop construction documents, though, we can't always get the format to be consistent across the sets of drawings, so we need to allow for that. So here I have an image with one viewport. You can see I also have my drawing title bar down here. We're also going to learn how to break up the sheet to provide the opportunity for two horizontal viewports, for two vertical viewports, for splitting our sheet up into four viewports, and also the opportunity for splitting up our sheets into thirds. It is very typical in an architectural or engineering office to standardize the manner within which we present our information. Typically, an office will have a 22 by 34 format or a 30 by 42 format, and we will be getting into this in more detail later on. But you can see, looking at the image, that we typically have a full-size viewport, horizontal viewports, vertical viewports, or the combination of a vertical and a quarter. We also will have on our detail sheets detail formats. So that's a 22 by 34 sheet. If I look at a 30 by 42 sheet, you can see that my formats are very similar for the two projects. The large difference is the manner in which I have an area reserved over on the right hand side for keynotes and a key plan. So we will be tackling all this information in CAD 301. I look forward to working with you. Have a good time.